Hey guys, in this video, you are going to see the quick start guide for TiDB operator. TiDB operator is an automatic operation system for TiDB clusters in Kubernetes. It provides a full management lifecycle for TiDB, including deployment, upgrades, scaling, backup, failover, and configuration changes. With TiDB operator, TiDB can run seamlessly in Kubernetes clusters deployed on a public cloud or a private cloud. You can deploy TiDB operator in test environment or production environment. For test environment, you can use Kind, Minikube, and Google Cloud Share to have a test. And this page shows the six steps to deploy a TiDB cluster. From the first step, to create a test cl Kubernetes cluster, to the last step, destroy a TiDB cluster and Kubernetes cluster. And let's see the first step, create a test Kubernetes cluster. There are two ways to create it, use kind or use minikube, because using kind is a common way. So in this video guide, I'm going to show you how to use kind to create a Kubernetes cluster. If you already installed kind in your machine, now you only need to use kind create cluster to create a kind cluster. Now the kind cluster is installed successfully. To check the kind cluster status, we can use kube control. Besides, there are a lot of images needed to deploy a TiDB cluster later. So to speed up the start process of a TiDB cluster, we can load some of those images to kind in advance. Oh, there is an error. Let's retry it. OK, we can see the images are loaded successfully. And let's move on to the second step, deploy TiDB operator. This part has two processes, install CRD and install TiDB operator. So let's install CRD first. After installing CRD successfully, we need to add PinCap Helm charts to Helm repo. By this way, we can download Helm charts via Helm later. Then let's create the namespace called tidb admin for tidb operator. Tidb operator will be installed under this namespace. And install the latest version of tidb operator. Now let's see the pods status. As you can see, pods are creating. Now our pods are in running status. Let's move on to the next step. The next step is to deploy a TiDB cluster and its monitoring services. In this part, we need to deploy a TiDB cluster, deploy TiDB monitoring services, and view pods status. Let's clear this page first. Create a namespace and try deploying a TiDB cluster. And deploy TiDB monitoring services. Then I will check the pod status. We can see the monitoring services are running. PD, TiKV, and PD, TiKV are running. 
and TidyV is running as well. All pods are in running status. For the next step, let's connect to TidyB by installing the let's connect to TidyB by installing the MySQL client forward port 4000, connecting to the TidyB service and accessing Grafana dashboard. So firstly, let's see which services are provided. The basic TidyB here is the TidyB service. We can access TidyB service by cube control port forward. I used a 14,000 port to forward the service to the 4,000 port. If your 14,000 port is already occupied, you can replace it with an available port. Let's check the MySQL client connection status. Okay, uh, and let's change to a test database and try creating a hello world table. The table is created. Next, let's see the version information. Currently, we deployed the version 3.0. And let's check the store information of TechKV. We can see only one TechKV store is on up status. Then check the cluster status. It has only one TechDV, one PD, and one TechKV. And finally, you are going to see the Grafana service. The basic Grafana, Grafana here refers to the Grafana service. We can also use port forward to visit it. I used port 3000 and the configured address is 0.0.0.0. .0. This is because my kind is run on a remote host instead of my local host. So when I access the Grafana dashboard from my browser later, I need to use the IP of the remote host. The username and password are admin by default. Now you can see all the monitoring dashboard here. And let's see the cluster overview. You can see it has the basic information of PD, TIDV, and TIKV. Those are the first step. Now let's move on to the next step, how to upgrade the TIDV cluster. In this part, we will modify the version of the TIDB cluster, wait for pods to restart, forward the TIDB service port, and check the TIDB cluster version. We can modify the cluster version directly through kube control patch and see the pod status. Now the PD performs a rolling restart and TIKV and TIDB performs the rolling restart as well. Okay, TIDB has been restarted. At this time, please note that you need to reset any port forwarding you reset you set up before because the ports they forwarded to have been destroyed and recreated.
This time I will use port 24,000 and let's check the current version. You can see the version is modified to 5.4.0 and note that this is a nightly version so the version can be changed. For the last step, let's see how to destroy the TidyB cluster and Kubernetes cluster. Firstly, I will stop all kube control processes. You can see there are three processes that are forwarding ports. Now let's end all of them. Now all of them has been ended successfully. Secondly, I will delete the TidyB cluster. And delete the TidyB monitoring services. And delete the used PVC and PV. and delete namespaces. All the namespaces have been deleted. Finally, let's delete the kind. This is the full guide. Thank you for your watching.